Well, I couldn't leave it alone, could I? This is Mark II chassis. The mount for the pipe just there, so I can just drop it in easily. That might be too loose now, but I can always put a rubber band around it or something. But that's been redesigned so it can be printed easily as well. Those um, bevels, or whatever you want to call them, the slope is designed so you can print it that way up without any support layers. And it also helps for putting it in place. So Mark II chassis, no idea which number mark that is for the uh, pipe. That's probably about the fifth or sixth one I've done, but that matches this chassis. So we'll call it Mark II chassis and pipe. That's the Mark III paddle. So we'll give it a go. The only thing is that's an old balloon. I'm running short of them. I think I've got a slightly smaller nozzle again. Just a tiny bit smaller. Because I always launched them to the right, I was very careful to point it left. And look what I did. Oh dear. Right, I'll try that again. I'm still going left. A bit. If you haven't watched the previous videos, and there are three of them, every time I launch it, when I let go, I'm making it twist to the right a little bit. So I've been hitting the right side of the wall. So I'm carefully launching it left. And obviously it's going too far left. I don't expect any increase in performance with this. It's just the way of putting that pipe in place. Still, we did the full distance. We will have a go the other way, which if you've watched the previous videos, you will know usually fails. What the problem is, is the kitchen floor is flat, apart from just about here. It raises up just a little bit where they've matched the kitchen floor to the conservatory floor. Conservatory floor is concrete or cement mix. Kitchen floor is wood. And even though that is concrete, there's still a slight waviness in it. So we haven't got perfect flat conditions. But when we launch from that way, it doesn't have to travel so far before it hits the bump. When we launch from this way, it's got to travel further before it hits the bump, so it's usually run out of power. So rather than being able, being able to freewheel, it runs out of power on the bump. Right, but we'll give it a go. Going left again. <laughs> we'll give it one more go. I've actually made this chassis 20 millimeters longer, which I thought was a good idea. 
but I'm not so sure because the balloon is getting very close to those wheels now. So it'll actually slow down if the blue balloon rubs against the wheels. I could space them out more. Lost a little bit of air then. We'll still go for it though. No, lost too much air, I think. Well, you might think, how did that go so much further? And that's because I used what I consider to be a cheat. That's a double layer balloon. There's a white one inside. So it's got double the power. Well, probably not double the power, but it makes it stronger. I put that on there just to make sure it stayed in place. So uh, there's all sorts of things you can make do to make them go faster. But this Mark II chassis was about this. I'm trying to make this easier to fit in place. Whatever you do, it's a problem. Because your finger, if you're putting your finger over the end to stop the air coming out, it fouls the paddle. I mean, you could make that further back, but then you're not blowing directly at the paddle anymore. So, there we go. Mark II chassis, Mark III paddle and whatever mark number we want called a nozzle and again that one was slightly smaller than the previous ones I didn't print any more with a larger hole in so I don't know if it would go better with a larger hole or not I'd have to start all over again that'll do for today I was just editing the video and remembered in the previous videos I'd given it a run without the paddle wheel so we better do that So this is just a straight run, balloon power, probably find the, the balloon will rub against the wheels which will slow it down. Uh, oh, that's a thought, it will probably fit the other way around. There'll be slightly less chance of the balloon rubbing against the wheels. Not much, but slightly less. I think it's actually dragging on the floor, slowing it down a bit. No, it's not. But it's definitely getting close to the wheels when it's going. So, probably not a good design to try and use just as a balloon with no paddle wheel. Again, you yeah, let's do that. We'll swap it around. Okay. So 
So we've got the spacers to try and keep the balloon away from the wheels. Right, I'll try and go back the other way. against the wheels. Lost a lot of power at the beginning there when I released it. Yeah, not a good design shape for just blowing it direct without the paddle in the way. That'll do. Thanks for watching. There's always more information down in the video description. And if you like this video, you might like this one up here. And you might like to have a look at my channel over here. See what else I do. Thank you for watching.